Christmas is getting a little closer. So if you're thinking about getting this on your list, it's too late. It's not going to make it in time for Christmas unless you pay for overnight shipping or something. Which will cost an arm and a leg, but hey, after Christmas gifts are great. Spend your gift certificates, your cards. Well anyways, let's get right to it. Today we are going to build the woodworking lathe that starts on page 109, 110. Here are all the items that you will need for this. I will uh, put up the list now, give you some time to get all that. stuff together good first let's start off with uh, the uh, intricate stuff the small stuff put the live center on the tailstock just by threading it in and put your bolt at 50 50 or wherever you may want that. There we go. Tail stock build. Motor assembly. Put the collet in. The thread over that. Slide that center in. Back it up a little bit. We'll need to hold the motor still. in here, tighten it down. Okay, I wish they made these tool handles longer. So let's hold this. That's why I pull the screwdriver all the time. Alright, we've got that assembled. Tool rest on the cross slide. You know, the funny thing is, I try to wash her in there, you'd think that would be a good spot. They're a little too big around to work. up, torque it down, now let's put the cross slide in. Stocking. 
don't need to tighten the tailstock down because it's going to need to be slid back and forth for whatever size your work is. And of course, with the motor assembly, we're going to pull back that belt cover so we can slide this in. Someday, either I'm going to really cut it out. Just order extra of these and have it left in there. If I had the money to order extra, I would. and motor in there they can be torqued down so you really don't want to move them too much They want to put these plates on. So put these double ended slot nuts in. This should make it more rigid, stop chattering, and you make it for a better piece when you are done with your work. Now, if you want to know uh, things to do with your wood lathe, get some project ideas, I would go to Peter Brown's YouTube page, Peter Brown. He does interesting projects with lathe, uh, his lathe, he's got a full-size lathe, he's done a salt bracelet out of a big piece of salt rock, does a lot of stuff with epoxy, he put 
telephone wire and epoxy, hardened that up and made a bracelet out of that. Got a colored pencils, glued them all together, made a colored pencil ring. A lot of interesting things. Really entertaining to watch his YouTube videos. Check him out. That's Peter Brown. His videos are shop time. Here's the YouTube link. All right, we've got it all put together, set up. It looks good. Tool rest is there. Uh, the only thing with this, uh, these back plates is you've got a lot more to unloosen to adjust for your work. To, uh, do some modifications per se to line this up and put this piece of work in there and work on it. All right, so that's it for the assembling of the wood turning lathe. Stay tuned for the next video as the wood turns.